Hello and welcome back. My name is John Harrison. Today I'm going to show you how to make amazing manipulation using PixArt. So a few days ago I uploaded this video on Twitter and I got 22,000 turnouts, likes, and people were like, and I was like, are you guys for real? Like, come on, this is PixArt. It is not a paid version. And I discovered most of you don't know how to use it so I decided to make this tutorial for you and I'm gonna put you through on how I did it now first of all initially this is not how I did it but I had to advance and look for a shorter way to do this so you can benefit and learn from it first click on the subscribe button and see what happens to my channel <laughs> next you need pics art now let's get started so in order to continue this tutorial and at home my sanity and not stay, spend two days in this tutorial I had to put picture, scroll down to the draw icon, click on it and I'm going to select the color of this chair, get the exact color I need and I'm going to paint on the body. Next is to remove the background picture and just save the painted parts which we just click on the save icon there right there save and then we cancel we discard this this layer this um, window and then we go back to our original picture just to click on the add photos and then select the paint we want and then I just pull it over and use the eraser tool to clean unnecessary parts get a proper measurement we have to reduce the opacity like that and then to look in to just have a clean the unwanted uh, paint from the image. It's gonna take a while, but you have to take your time, bro. You have to take your time, you know what I'm saying? Think. We're still using the same method for the the chair to the other part of the chair so we just have to edit it also the same step reduce we're going to increase or reduce the brightness to see which one fits the, the picture okay I think I think when you increase the brightness it's kind of fit so we just walk around that to get it. that's it yep we're done with that so next step we are going to um, make our uh, chair look organic like it's uh, a raw chair not just some paper some paint line on the flat surface so we are going to use materials from the other chair and we're going to put it on the layer on this our thick uh, painted chair so just uh, shrink it down shrink it down so it look kind of flat and then we're going to paint over it after shrinking down the eraser tool comes in handy again we use everything we've got plenty to attack the everything the user the sharpness the blah 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 to attack when you're done with that you just duplicate and then you continue what work place it eraser tool again and it did a little bit little little little, little, little clean every unwanted place and bah, you've got it you've got it boy now for the surface we click on the previous image and we open and then select the down layer we want to fix click on the free crop tool I love using free crop tool because it does not give me issues so I just click on it click on the free crop, crop tool and then I'm going to clean the place use I just selected I just select everything and then just put it down there yeah, like that we are going to rotate it to the other position and then place it in the right manner so we can get what we are doing So next we fix and then we erase again and then we're going to repeat the same uh, step for the other parts to make sure we have a blending chair not just a chair with two different colors we're just going to blend it so that's what we're going to do select a new image of the previous image the original image select the part and click and just clean you know it's all cleaning baby it's all about cleaning it's all about love it's all about cleaning 
so we've gotten that and next we are going to focus on the handle the side where I am covering and that is where we are going to work first of all we are going to select the layer we want to edit sorry we are going to select the area we want to use as an attachment now this is where the logical thinking comes in you click on the part you want to edit and you edit it now I'm going to select this part and I'm going to click here Repeat the same step for the other hand too. To make it more realistic, we have to import a more solid, uh, a more um, chair like texture, which we're going to get from this other part of the chair. And we're just going to select and fix. Like that, we select this and then we're going to click hit next, save, and then increase it. Then we're going to add, just going to clean. That be done, we are gonna use a clone too. We're gonna clone everywhere out of this thin this thing, you know what I'm saying, huh? Alright. We're just gonna clean everything using clone tool and then later we can replace with any um, background we like. It just seems so easy using the clone tool. This will take time, but you have to take your time, my brother, and that is it. We just gonna copy this plate and then paste it over here and then we're gonna clo clone clone that nigga. What what? Next we're gonna do something about the passage, the veranda. We're just gonna copy the other place and then uh, just right there, you know, I'll do it like that, you know, yeah, 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 duplicate it out and clean it up. Clean it up, clean it up, clean it up. And now for the 
exterior of the tube we just you know, copy a similar type of chi and you just put it there just so we give it that design you know it's not perfect but it works if you spend your time in doing this i think you get the color grading and you can get the hue saturation and fix everything there i think that's just how you're gonna do it you can reduce saturation brightness and the rest and yeah you don't we don't we don't Thanks for watching this video and damn making a youtube tutorial is really stressful so i'm making plans on uh improving my videos uh recording and uh, tutorials blah 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 so uh, i'm i'm saving up for the best for you guys and for me so thank you for supporting me thank you for watching i'll i'll give you updates soon just put your thoughts in the comment section let me know how you feel about my tutorial Okay, thank you very much for watching. Bye.